Hello guys, it's Laurie from Passionate Penny Pincher and I am way over here, far, far away from you guys. So I'm hoping that you guys will hop on and leave me a comment. I have some crazy exciting deals to tell you about today that I scored that I was so stinking excited about. I I love getting a good deal. It just makes me so happy and um, yeah, it makes me, it gives me a lot of joy. So I am super excited because I have a crazy, fun, easy trick to teach you today on how to make, um, how to freeze stuff and you're gonna love that. You can also download the free freezer printable. I have to show you what I got at Fresh Time and at Walgreens and CVS and what I stocked up on. So I'm excited, but I'm gonna see if I can see you guys here. And if you're hopping on later after the video and seeing this, um, don't get discouraged. You might just wanna scoot past this real quickly. Okay, let's see if I can see you guys on. How, can I have some hearts and likes or something out there? I see a few folks. Oh, I see a hello, but I can't read who it's from. Okay. Oh, I see some folks on. Hi, Beth. Let's see. I can't see your comments, but oh, maybe I can get it there. Oh, there. Hi, Nikki. So glad to see you. So glad. Thanks for the hearts and likes. Okay, guys. Oh, I don't want to. Let me turn the volume down on this. Okay, there we go. Okay, now we're set. So I went to Walgreens and they have 90% off Christmas clearance and you might be able to find 90% off Christmas clearance at CVS. So let me tell you about the deal. So at Walgreens yesterday, they had 90% off Christmas clearance. I ended up getting these for like pennies. Literally this huge set of lights was a dollar. It normally would have been $14. Crazy fun deals over at Walgreens. They also had candy. But let me tell you about this crazy deal my friend Alice found at her CVS. So the CVS has, some CVS stores have already marked their M&Ms down to 90% off. My store, or I'm sorry, all their candy down to 90% off Christmas candy. My store still had it at regular 50% off. However, there is a $2 off two printable coupon that is printing at the CVS coupon machine. So as soon as you hop into CVS, you're going to be able to get these for, you'll actually get paid to buy the M&Ms with the coupon. So check out your CVS. My store was still just 50% off. Some stores are already 90% off. Let me show you a super fast thing you can do when you score a deal on things like this. You can, of course I can't open it, which is probably a good thing. What I do when I have deals like this and I'm obviously, oh, all you're gonna do, this is super really, really, really simple, is you're gonna separate these into Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, 90% off, awesome deals. You can also do it with M&Ms, obviously, whatever is seasonal. That way you end up getting the 90% off price, which didn't pay for it. Okay, so let me tell you about my deals at, well, let's see, I'm gonna tell you, what am I gonna tell you first? I'm gonna show you quickly, I'm gonna tell you about my deals at Fresh Time, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. So this is really fun for folks who are new to saving money and new to how to make things really work. You're gonna love this. First of all, Fresh Time Market or Sprouts, if you have a Fresh Time in your area, you need to check it out. They have strawberries on sale this week for $1.25. That's gonna be through next Wednesday. So I stocked up on a bunch of strawberries for $1.25. I also got blueberries. This deal ends today, $1.27. Fresh Time and Sprouts has double ad sales day. A lot of you guys, I told you I spent way under my grocery budget. I spent $46. So when I saw the deals were so good this week, I went and I spent $15 more to stock up on fresh produce. Um, so we got all these for like a dollar, right? But the thing is, as I was walking out of the store, um, I saw one of my favorite friends and she and I were talking about um, the prices of things. And she said, well, you know, well, she actually called me later and I was sad that I missed it. She said, you know, you can freeze the blueberries. Duh, I can't believe I didn't think about it. I honestly don't freeze fresh fruit all that often because I think it's too much work. So I came home, did a little Googling. I'm gonna tell you how to score, how to easily freeze fresh fruit. So don't get overwhelmed. Okay, first of all, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna rinse, here, here I wanna make sure y'all can see. Can you guys see this? So here's my berries, y'all see them? So you wanna rinse off your strawberries and blueberries, okay? Can y'all see this? Here is my super fun trick that I think everyone should at least try one time. You're gonna love this, okay? So this is not, um, this is not maybe the easiest thing, but I think it's pretty cool. Take a straw, stick it right through the end. Can y'all see this? Okay, so we're gonna stick it right through the end of a strawberry. I'm hoping it's gonna work, we'll see. Dun, dun, dun. Looky there. So I just got all of my strawberry out, all of the stuff, y'all see that? 
See how easy that was? Okay, so I'm gonna do another one. I know, this is, this is like mind blowing. I don't know that I think this is a whole lot easier than chopping them, but you lose a lot less strawberry. So there we go. Y'all see that? So you don't have to do this. You can just chop off the tops of them, but I think it's kind of fun and I think everyone should try it once. Um, I recommend using a plastic straw and not a regular, um, like a bigger straw. Okay, so y'all see that? Can y'all see? I'm gonna run over so you can see this. Okay, so y'all see my strawberry? There you go. So there's my little strawberry. I'm gonna do this over here. Okay, so you can see it up close. There's my strawberry. I'm gonna stick the straw. Do y'all see this? Right here. You should try this with your kids one time just because it's kind of cool. Um, and it does, you lose a lot less strawberry. Okay, so there it comes off the top. Y'all see that? Yeah, so I hardly lose any strawberry. I'm gonna do one more and then I will tell you more about how to freeze berries. Okay, here's one more. Ah, and that one didn't go in the right way. It has to go in pretty straight and you can actually kind of see it puckering through, oh, there. See it puckering through the top? There we go. Awesome. So that way you don't lose a ton of strawberry. I know a lot of times when I chop them, I lose like down to here. So super easy, fun idea. Okay. So once you have chopped the tops off your strawberries, you can totally use a knife. That's just a fun kind of different way. Once you've done all that, you want to wash them really, really well. Then you want to go ahead and I'm hoping that's working. Okay. So once you've done that, you want to lay all of your berries, strawberries or blueberries out on a towel. I left them out on a towel. You could do it on paper towels and you want to let them dry for several hours because if you don't, they're not going to freeze well. So you need to make sure they're really, really good and dry. I've already wiped mine off with a paper towel because I want them to be really good and dry. Then you're just gonna put them on a piece of, um, can y'all see this, I'm hoping? You're just gonna wanna stick them on your sheet with some wax paper or parchment paper. And this is actually the same method that I use for freezing cookie dough. So you can freeze cookie dough ahead of time as well. It tastes way better than Toll House, the ones you buy, um, one thing you do want to do is make sure your berries are pretty fresh. Um, if they're overripe, they're not going to freeze as well because they're going to have more liquid in them. So the earlier you can grab them at is great. So you're going to just add all your berries. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pop these in the freezer the way that they are. So you're going to put these in the freezer flat and you're going to freeze them for about four hours the way that they are. So you're going to want to, what you're doing is you're flash freezing your, um, your stuff. So you're going to flash freeze your strawberries or your blueberries, put them in for four or five hours. Once they have frozen for four hours, you're going to go ahead and pop them into your freezer bags. And so when you see berries like this week on sale for $1.25, to have strawberries in the middle of winter for $1.25 is incredible. Blueberries for $1.25 in the middle of winter, crazy prices. But I don't, so next week when they're not going to be $1.25, I can have those. Now the cool thing is you can do the same thing with bananas. You can chop your bananas up the same way. And I'm actually going to do one to show you. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and you're going to chop your bananas up the exact same way. And y'all, if you know someone who would love to learn how to do this stuff, oh, I'm right there under the weird button. Okay, if you know someone who might like to do this stuff, definitely share this. I'd sure appreciate it. It makes my job more worth it every time y'all share this with friends who it might help out. But what you're gonna do now is you're just gonna do the same thing with these strawberries or with the bananas. What's awesome about this is if you make smoothies, if you do ice cream, um, yeah, all you're gonna do is just chop these up. So now this is great for stuff when you want fresh fruit, but I'm gonna show you one even easier trick and some of you are gonna gross out by it, but we'll show you another trick with bananas. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this into my freezer. I'm gonna freeze for four hours. These are gonna be flash frozen, so I'm good to go. I'm hoping this is all working over there. Yeah, super easy, super, super simple. Okay, so next one I wanna show you though, if you are like me and lazy, for any lazy, anybody who's out there who's lazy besides me, I'm really lazy. When it comes to stuff like this, the reason I don't do this all that often is because I'm lazy. So my one super great trick when you want um, bananas, if you have extra bananas, hang on, I have one, that look like this in your kitchen, you know when the bananas get grody and you don't wanna keep them? This is great for when you wanna have a fresh tasting banana, like when you want a banana that's kind of crisp and you know, a good banana. But sometimes your bananas get really nasty, right? So what I do, and I know people are just shocked by this, I know this is gonna gross out somebody, so I'm hoping if this grosses you out, you're like my children, they don't like this at all. Remove this all so you can see it. 
Okay, so what you're gonna do with your bananas is you're gonna put them like this, when they get brown and gross, you're gonna put them in the freezer completely, you're just gonna stick them in the freezer. Like, I don't do anything. I'm gonna come show you how nasty these are. Y'all can look at these, okay? Gross bananas. So you're gonna take your gross bananas, you're gonna thaw them out on your countertop, and when you wanna have banana chocolate chip bread, or banana bread, or banana muffins, or banana cake, or banana, anything banana. Oh, this is so gross. Um, <laughs> you just come, you just literally pull them out. There's my banana, Ugh. It's disgusting, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm telling you what, it makes the best banana bread because it's all really gooey. And I remember years ago when I could not figure out how to make banana bread, my friend told me that she said, you want your bananas to almost be like alcoholic, like they need to be really, really, really like fermented almost. This does that for you. So literally just freeze your bananas whole, then let them thaw on the counter for maybe an hour or two, and you'll have good nasty bananas to make um, banana bread. And so guess what I'm making this afternoon? We got banana bread ready to go. So super simple tips. I hope that helps. Definitely swing by fresh time if you have a fresh time in your or sprouts in your area. I know we're talking a lot about saving on your grocery budget and the best thing you can do is take advantage of great sales. So when I see berry prices like this, um, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna buy as much as my budget can afford. In this case, I'm gonna freeze them. Something else you can freeze as well um, is green peppers. They were on sale two for a dollar today. To freeze these, all I do, I'm really lazy with these. You could do the same method. You could definitely do the same thing that you did on those. But what I will probably do is just chop them up, throw them in a freezer bag. When we need chili, I'll have um, peppers and I paid 50 cents instead of paying $1.19 because I got the best price. Um, carrots, they also have, I'll be honest, I have not tried freezing carrots. Carrots are pretty cheap year round, so um, they were 88 cents a bag though. Okay, so for those who hopped on later, I don't wanna miss you guys. I think I see, oh, somebody else, Renee, you said you use nasty bananas too. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Um, but yeah, um, the other thing I just wanna make sure you guys who are hopping on late do not miss is that at Walgreens, Christmas is 90% off. You're gonna get these little chocolate happies for 10 cents. Your kids will love you. Um, they probably are like mine and don't need much, so I did not buy very many. Um, your wrapping paper was $2.99, 29 cents for wrapping paper, all at Walgreens. Also the, um, what is this, the lights. They had tons of clear lights at my store. These were regularly, I think they were $13, they were $1.30. The smaller ones were way cheaper. This is a huge thing of lights. So swing by your local Walgreens, see if they have those. And then CVS shoppers. I would love, I would love, like it would make my day if any of you guys have a CVS nearby. If you would take like five minutes out of your day if you're driving home and see, just scan these to see if they scan 90% off. My friend in Madison, Alabama messaged me and told me that her store does have the 90% 90 off. There is a um, $2 off two M&M coupon printing at the CVS coupon machine. She ended up, so that makes the bags were 40 cents, $2 off coupon. She actually made $1.20 buying M&Ms. Um, I think she actually bought extra M&M's. My stores here in Columbus do not have 90% off Christmas yet at CVS, but they do have tons. So super simple trick for those of you guys um, run by CVS. And if you happen to find it, if you would leave me a comment, I would really, I'm hoping, I went last night and today, no luck, um, but I'm hoping it'll be there soon. Again, if you missed it earlier, when you get these kind of awesome deals, split them up. You have your St. Patrick's Day and your Valentine's Day, and you paid 90% off instead of paying full price. So super easy ways to save. Hope this helps. I hope you guys have the best day. I hope you are saving a ton. Definitely click the link above and you can, oh, I meant to tell you about that. I totally forgot. Click the link above. You can download the completely free, can I freeze this guide? A couple things you can freeze for people who are clueless and who've not tried freezing stuff before. I would be this way if I didn't research it. Um, you can freeze baking chips, biscuits, bread, buns, cookie dough, um, muffins, tortillas, butter, margarine, cheese, milk. If you freeze milk, make sure to um, dump out a little bit of the milk at the top so that you don't, it doesn't um, bust because it is liquid so it'll expand. Sour cream, I think sour cream tastes a little funky after, I don't think it tastes funky, I think it's kind of thick after you freeze it, so I wouldn't freeze that one. Um, you can definitely freeze meat and poultry, I do it all the time. Egg beaters, hot dogs, lunch meat, um, apples, pears, berries, green peppers, peaches, Go over, print the list. It's gonna give you all the stuff you can freeze and you can print it out um, and it'll tell you how to freeze it as well so that you know what you're doing. Anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic week. Tell me how you are saving big, let me know. Love hearing from you guys. I love your comments and I love when you share what we do here. I hope that it helps you save a bundle. Have a fantastic afternoon. I'll talk to you soon.